Hello everybody. Welcome once again. This is Team Gavel. We are chilling here in the office. Today we're going to be playing Rocket League once again. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> just trying to get the... James is just chat. texting. He's just... Just, just tweeting. <laughs> making sure that people know that we're here. Oh, okay. Alright. And then, um, let's, let's get our video game up. Okay. I see my friend Molly has followed us. Joe Camaro. Cool. Yeah. Where should we be? On the left or the right today? Um, Bottom corner? I think we were here last time, so let's just let's just hang out where we were. <laughs> okay. Let's get started, man. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll do two, 3v3 again. That way we have somebody else who can help us. Maybe they're a pro. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for following us. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, we're Team Gavel. We're here on Wednesdays. We talk law stuff, so we're lawyers. Tension and Williams. Oh, yeah. You, you, I don't have my lawyer shirt, but I do have my gamer <laughs> shirt on for Friday. Nice D20 there. Yeah. What does it say? So it says Roll for Initiative. Roll and for Initiative. This is actually a shirt that's made by um, the wonderful artist Feral Fox at um, Goblins and Growlers, one of the local D&D groups. Here in Richmond. Yeah, here in Richmond, Virginia. I, I uh, was disoriented when I started, so I'm kind of... Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention there. Just focusing on the uh, merch. Set up. Focusing on the, the merch. That's, is that ours? That's our game. Okay. Yeah, we need to keep it out of there. Yeah, there you go. All right, we're back into it. <laughs> okay. Almost. Not quite. So we don't claim to be good at video games. I think it's important to note that. <laughs> yeah. we, we just are... We just love video games. That's all. Um, although this last week, I think it's fun that you're wearing a D and D shirt. This last week, I was with my family, and my oldest brother was kind enough to. He's a long-term DM. He's he's been a DM for as long as I've known him, <laughs> which is my entire life. Uh, He's an original geek, you know, one of the guys in the 80s that was all like... He, he's basically Mike from Stranger Things. That's all. I can't believe I missed that ball. That yeah. was like my goal to take. We, we were both right on that. Hey, there we go. Somehow it went in. Perfect. I, Good. I got the point. <laughs> Good enough. So, uh, yeah, my brother uh, did a D&D &D game for all of my kids and all of our family. It was actually really fun. Oh, yeah, and, and then you hit X if you don't want to watch the replay. I wanted to see how it got in. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just saying for future then. Oh, this is me. This is me, right? Yeah. Yes. Stupid computer. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he, he had uh, D and D T shirts the entire week that my dad had gotten with phrases like I'm the master and this is my dungeon and this is how I roll and uh, other Fun saying so. It was a good time. Who we got going on? Team Gavel for the win. <laughs> oh, it's Hope. Hope. Hey, Hope. It's Hope's going? dad. He's the DM. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's all like, "Yeah, he's been a DM longer than I've been alive." I'm like, "Yep." <sighs> so Wednesday we talked about trademark law. I don't know if that interests any of you that are watching, but. Uh, if you have any questions about that, we, we can take them. I can't promise that we'll pay attention <laughs> to those questions. But, uh, I mean, we can at least see them. So we can see step them. Step up from there. Before. They are. Uh, that's embarrassing. We have to beat the computer. What, what difficulty setting are they? Like, oh, novice? these are people. These are people? Yeah. Oh, we're playing against people. Yeah, I feel better about yourself if we lose. <laughs> yeah, okay. But also, yeah, we get it. <laughs> but also feel feel pretty bad because we're not winning. <laughs> oh man, we we've got this. Well, if I can, I exploded. That's that's a terrible thing. All right. <laughs> generally not helpful. No, generally not helpful. Okay, did a little dodge roll that. Oh, hey, there we go. 
So you've been playing a lot of video games lately, right, James? Yeah, um, I hopped back into Smite. That's kind of been what I've been doing. And I briefly played several years ago, and then I've been trying to get back into it. So that's kind of what I've been focusing on. And then, I mean, I always play Pokemon, like Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. I think, I think my next game, so I only recently played through Ori and the Blind Forest, and I think I want to do the sequel. So maybe that's my, maybe that's my Christmas game. A lot of fun. Did you do anything super nerdy over Thanksgiving? Well, I played video games the whole time, <laughs> so... <laughs> no, I knew that. Anything else? Um, no, not really. Um, we didn't really go anywhere. I was just here with my partner, Rachel, and um, her family. Her mom and dad, who we pretty much always are around anyway. So, um, we didn't do too much. It was just kind of hang out see what online sales were out there. Did you do the Black Friday thing? It, well, we went out just to like see how bad it was and <laughs> it was pretty bad. bad. It, was? it was pretty bad. Oh, I mean, there were tons of people? Because all the news reports I saw were like, it was empty. No, it was, like, it was not pump, empty. Short Pump Mall was definitely packed. Well, that's Short Pump, I suppose. And um, yeah, that wasn't super great. Boom! Oh, hey, there we go. we're tied. <laughs> Nice. With nine seconds to go, so we've got to get this one. All right. Let's see if we can win. All right. Boom, you see that? Yeah. That's me. But yeah, I got a couple other games, like Bloodborne was on sale for 10 You got months. this one? All right. Oh, I got bumped. The other person hit me. Okay, let's see. We're going to go into overtime. Okay. All right, I got it. Oh. No, I don't got it. Because our, our teammate keeps bumping into us. They're trying to on sabotage. Our... Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. All right. Missed. Oops. Why did I hit it that way? That's not good. Okay. Really good. Let's. What? Game. Oh. That was us. That was us? Did you hit it? I did. I did hit it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you s> I <laughs> scored the winning goal. <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad. That's too bad. All right. Let's try that again. Yeah. This, this PlayStation controller. How do I, how do I say I'm ready? Oh, you're good. I'm good. Yeah, I got That's it. That's too bad. Uh, yeah, our mic is kind of fuzzy. When we've got the big, uh, you know, when we're not as close to it, these condenser microphones are, are designed for us. And then we were in the mask today. The condenser oh. microphones are designed to be spoken to really close. I think it's picking up the computer because the fan is running. Uh, that could be it, too. Yeah, we got to figure out a better setup for, for video game days when we're not. We've either got to reposition the mics or, or figure out a better setup um, on these video game days. Some, something. We can do something. We'll figure it out. And every time I blow up a car, it uh, makes a sound. Okay, here goes. Right, no! Don't score, don't score. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't trying to score on us this time. <laughs> we can skip it, we can skip it. See, I, tr I, tried to, I tried to get it out of there. It's too bad. All Are right. you going for it? Yeah. Okay. 
No, I missed it. Okay. So it's a little encouraging to know that most regular people online don't play any better than I do. <laughs> Even though when you watch like people who are good at Rocket League, it's like, whoa. I mean, yeah, we're not in the ranked matches. This is still Clearly. the this is still listed as casual. Yeah, definitely. No. no that was me this time. You scored on it? Yeah, I was trying <laughs> to bump it out. Well, you know, I mean, it was your turn. <laughs> it was your turn. And it's just our teammate, I guess. Okay. Or the other guy I wanted to watch. <laughs> <laughs> or the other person. All right, we got the ball in that way. Oops. That's not like when you play the computer where you can just nail it every time. Yeah. Oh, nope. God. It's scary. What's scary? <laughs> You're scared? No, I'm not. It's just Whew, I heading towards the goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, come on, no, on. come on. I was ready for it. No, they got that one. I, I have a feeling that uh, we're not going to do as well this time. <laughs> That's too bad. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure there are people who have actual strategies, like playing mid, playing forward and back, etc. And that might help. Aha! Uh -huh. It's still in. Really? Even though I exploded him? Yeah, it was after he hit. After they hit. Oh, uh, okay. That's too bad. All right. This, is, this one's yours. Look, they've got airplanes flying over the stadium and everything. Man, we have to get... A goal. Three <laughs> goals in two and a half minutes. We can do it. We have to get five goals into it. I mean, it's not necessarily impossible. <laughs> it's just not quite as easy as saying I have to get a goal in five minutes. Let's see what we got here. Oh, man. Let's see if we get some comments. Yeah. Hope's just talking about the mic. The mic. Do, do, do. But, yeah, so um, what all games did you play? I mean, you talked about D&D. &D. Uh, we played lots of D&D. &D. I also played this new game that I've been looking into a lot, which is Warhammer. And I finally, I mean, it's not a new game. I'm sure plenty of you are familiar with it, but... Um, but Warhammer, I've been buying minis and painting them for a while now, but I haven't like gone through the effort to get a whole set. So I was like, eh, may as well, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> I just needed the excuse. And so now I've got this big painting project in front of me to paint a whole army, which I'm kind of excited about, frankly. No! And uh, so that, that was my other geek thing. On the vacation, we played a big game of Among Us with my nieces and nephews. That was probably one of the, the moments when we had like a large group of them all together, young and old. It was funny. I think, did I ever say this on the stream or somewhere else? But my son was playing Among Us and he finally got to be the, the imposter. I think Hope's referencing that now. And, uh, and yeah, so one of his cousins comes up behind him, and the guy's six, and he's all like, wait, you're the imposter? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the worst thing you could have happen. That's pretty funny. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, that's the easiest way to spoil it. If you're in a Discord chat or something that's... 
outside and it connects. Man, they are steamrolling us. Yeah. This is not good. Six to nothing? The disclaimer does not do enough justice. What? The disclaimer that we're not good at uh, uh, video games? Spam message. Oh, I do want to become famous. Also, we forgot to do this. I'm going to do this real quick. Legal information is not legal advice specific to your situation. We should always play the logo hit, right? Yeah. It's like our secret power. <laughs> now we're going to start playing well. Maybe. That would be great. In the last 10 seconds, we're going to get we six get goal? goals. Nah. <laughs> I'd be happy for a goal in the last. Six seconds? Yeah, no, it's not happening. No, too late. Dead ball. It's too bad. All right, well, they, they deserved it. They won, I suppose. Yeah, we got to find a different match, maybe with other people. Because <laughs> clearly they, they figured it out. <laughs> yeah, clearly they got us in that. It's the same group of people, right? Yeah. Looked, uh, the names were familiar to me, so. Whatever we were doing wasn't working. Okay, so I'm going to back out. You're going back? Yeah, try to. Uh, there you go. Me. There we go. Try one of the other options. Japan. Okay, let's see. Uh. <laughs> Chaos, four by four. Yeah, let's try it. Let's do it, sure, whatever. I'll, do I have to accept, or what's going on? Okay. Back with Park. We're training. I think that's just the training ground. It's just the training, yeah. Uh, I mean, Stage. it might make us go through a tutorial, but I doubt it. <sighs> Are we jumping in the middle of a game? I guess. What on earth? And yeah. we're already behind? That's not fair. Well, I guess they needed the help. Clearly. Hey, there we go. <laughs> we join, we, we get the score. I mean, okay. hey, we're helping. <laughs> oh, actually, no, we didn't. Uh, that was them. They scored. We're not helping at all. Hey, it, it's, <laughs> we pushed them into it. I mean, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> You'll take the win? No, the point. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh boy, got a lot more air than I thought I would. Oh man. So what are any intellectual property topics that have been on your brain lately? Um, well, I mean, there's plenty of stuff that's always going on. What have I been looking at recently, I guess? Um, I mean, there's still the ongoing issue with audio and... Oh, uh, on Twitch? Yeah. Music and Twitch. And the National Music Publishers Association issued basically a response to Twitch's initial response. The whole note about, like, Twitch soundtrack and... Uh, basically what they're trying to do or what they said they're working towards and yeah the David Israelite he's in charge of the NMPA oh we just gotta get it in we were so close right there ah. so let's see if I can nope I got smashed there <laughs> But yeah, basically he just re-emphasized a lot of points that uh, most of the practitioners have already been saying. Which is? Which is Twitch soundtrack doesn't fix the problems. It just is a, it's like a, a really bad shorthand uh, fix, if anything. It only deals with half of the licenses and it kind of comes up with a bad excuse for the rest. So, um, 
Now the idea is that Twitch is offering a free service to its users, right? You don't have to pay for the Twitch soundtrack, or do you pay for the Twitch soundtrack? Um, well, so it, it's in theory for people who are both partners and not partners, just streamers. So um, yeah, generally it's supposed to be free, but at the same time, you know, right now they're still working everything out. Yeah, so it might end up being a paid thing, but I guess my thinking is, is Twitch is looking at this from a business perspective and thinking, that went right over my head. Twitch is looking at this from a business perspective and thinking, okay, well, this is, if this is a free oh, service. We scored, it, we scored it in our own goal last time. That, here I was thinking we'd take credit for it. We haven't, we're not on board at all. Well, I'm I mean, very unaware of we were like a minute into the game and there were two goals, so there haven't yeah. been so many since we've been here. So I, I still say that we could take credit for something. I've got this. Unless people are going to crowd around. <laughs> no. Uh, no, but uh, I mean, they're probably thinking we need to minimize the cost of, of what we pay out in licenses as much as possible because it's not, it's not the money maker for them. Oh, gosh. Yeah, and the crazy thing is that Twitch is owned by Amazon. So it's not like they're... It's not really, like they don't have the money to pay. Yeah, which is the most frustrating part. I mean, Facebook gaming... Facebook's already paid for all of the licenses. They've got everything set up properly. And yeah, so we know that there's precedent for a proper setup, is what you're saying. Well, anybody can do it, especially if you have the money and the resources. And it's just one of those things that's like... So you have the money, you have the ability, but you're choosing not to. And that's the frustrating part. It's like, then why? You know? Right. <laughs> okay, so Hope's saying if with affiliate partners, unless you have the preferred partner contract, they get 50% of all subscriptions. Well, yeah, that's the Twitch revenue. Right. Like how much you get when um, you get a so when you get a sub, yeah. which isn't the same necessarily as the music subscription piece. Yeah, and so basically, right now, all of the artists that are on Twitch soundtrack are pretty much on there for free. Um, Dave, like, I got that one. Okay, okay, that was all me Good in job. the right goal. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Look at me coming from back. Boom! Okay, there we go. That's, yeah. There, there we go. All right, you so, got this one? You, you're up? Here. I'm going to block people from you. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, no, nope, this, is, this is a little disappointing. <laughs> not, not our best play. Uh, but, um, yeah, so basically, when uh, the artists are signing up, they're not getting paid. They're not entering into these like really into in legitimate licenses, like a, a royalty arrangement with Twitch. They're more or less saying, "Hey, you get to be on the playlist," and uh, it turns into a more of a hashtag for exposure kind of deal for the <laughs> artist. Which is, you know, as somebody who studied music, uh, uh, has a music degree, you don't want exposure. You just want my. I mean, <laughs> for newer artists. You got to get your name out there. Exposure has its worth, but uh, if, especially when you're working with a really big entity like Twitch that's connected to Amazon or um, a company that's connected to you know Facebook or Microsoft, either way, whenever you're dealing with one of these big entities, it's like okay, why are you doing it this way? And um, you know. It just it just rubs a lot of people the wrong way because apparently it rubs you the wrong way. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, I mean, we're talking about trying to protect artists and give them the value uh, that you know they put into their work. So you know, some people are okay with it, but if there's a um, If it's short term, that's one thing, but if you're gonna miss out on a lot of royalties where people are already missing out on royalties, we're, you know, it, 
it's just like that same more or less uh, environment that has already been a problem in the music industry. They're already missing out on a lot of royalties. And, you know, this just exacerbates the problem. So that's kind of why... Whew, we're killing it this time. That's why I always get pretty frustrated. Yeah, no, I mean, especially like you said with a company, you know, Twitch being owned by Amazon and stuff. They, they do have plenty of resources to do this the right way and when there's a current existing model. So, um, have you noticed any litigation yet or not so much? I mean, it's still early. There's like basically just getting it set up and I right. mean, it's, like it's launched, but um, I haven't seen any actual litigation. But, you know, you also have to know who's filing and if they're going to make a big public speak right. about it. Right. Otherwise, you, you just can't find the, the case to file. I mean, uh, to follow. Well, I mean, I, I, I figure on something like this, people are going to be following public court filings to figure out when something does get filed. It'll be an interesting story if and when it does happen. Did you die? Yeah. I got exploded. <laughs> Oh man. No. But yeah, so basically right now there's the comp um That's going in, it's going in. There we go. Yeah, there's we're doing the, so much better. There's the compensation piece on the front side and then the back side of royalties. You get basically two different types. There's the public performance royalty, which comes through uh performing the musical work so that's like the the notation piece anytime it's played and then because we're dealing with a video stream and um, no, no. it's usually recorded we talk about synchronization licenses and you have to get a license and uh, fees for that so right now twitch says that they're handling the public performance part and then they just said you know, we'll just have software so you can take it out of the video on demand, the VOD, and then so that, that way you don't have to pay for that license. Yeah. So that Twitch doesn't have to pay for the license, or you, because otherwise, you know, it's streaming on their platform. They're yeah. the ones who are acquiring the public performance licenses for you. So it, it would either be you or them, and um, they're not going to do that. They've already emphasized that. They're not going to provide a product to, to make it simple to get those licenses or the pay for them license. themselves? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, what's interesting is that you can always get a license of, of your own for music or you can buy music, but um, I mean, not likely get a license for popular music or anything as an individual user. I don't know. How, how would you go about, how would you go about licensing music? Like, let's say you just want to say, forget Twitch. I'm going to do music licensing right my own way. What are you going to do? Well, I mean, if you're going to go for performance music rights, you're going to go to ASCAP BMI right. or um, one of the other agencies. And then um, outside of that... But what about a sync license then later for, for video on demand? So, I mean, you can try to negotiate. The biggest thing is you have to be in contact with all of the various individuals. So you have to be in contact with, like if you're not gonna work with ASCAP BMI, the Harry Fox Agency, or um, any of these people, you have to do all the legwork on your own. You right. have to talk to the music publisher. So it's just cost prohibitive and expensive. There's well, like virtually no way for you to get those licenses. I mean, you can. On your own. You just have to, it, it's a more of getting your foot in the door it can be very difficult because there can be like hundreds of doors, and then you're small potatoes to them. So it's like, well, even for, if you find the door, is for it For popular music, but you can always buy music that's created kind of for this purpose, right? I mean, that's... Yeah, there are also several um, programs, websites, services, etc., that like uh, offer specific music that is supposed to be stream safe, um, depending on who it is, it supposed might not be. to be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's always a question of whether or not they have the work done properly. 
but um, right, right. Well, and there's you know there are original creators that create this kind of stuff. So just like you can buy stock photos, you can buy stock music, and there are a number of marketplaces for that kind of thing. And so I just wanted to bring that up to people who are listening. So here we go. Well, we won one. I think now's a good time to stop. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Hope. Thanks, everybody else, for coming and listening. Thanks for those who are watching the video on demand. We are seeing our numbers climb, so it's kind of exciting. Uh, we hope that you enjoy the legal conversation. We hope that you enjoy just watching us, you know, pot around and play video games as well. Let me change back to the view with, with uh, here we go. Yeah, so thanks for visiting us. We will be back on Wednesday to talk more legal topics. We just finished up all of our intellectual property basics episodes. So we did copyright, intellectual uh, patents, and trademark law. Um, we'll be covering a number of topics, including this Twitch topic, uh, DMCA oh, stuff. the audio is out. No! We'll end now. <laughs> legal information is not legal advice specific to your situation.